Wake up, sleepyhead. I'm telling you, it ain't just a story. University Point, that settlement on the coast, wiped hey, out. Hey, Myrna. Remember, sense. I don't serve sense. Supplies are just for humans. Let's see what you have. A bit of everything. If you're thinking safety, a long-range rifle lets you stay in cover and out of sight. But you might want a secondary weapon for flexibility. Let's see what you have. Everything hand-tooled. Just buy or sell whatever you need and get lost. Our dad says not to talk to strangers. We got purified water inside the city. Best drink in the country. Time to fight when he went patching on the ball pit.
safety off. I think we have company. Just chill out, asshole. Don't move. Cavalry's arrived, and it looks like they sent in the big guns. Why did the Brotherhood send it here? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. more in its head for good. Nice.
adequate measure. Why take the chance? Scribe Halen? Regarding artifact collection locations? Good. I spent months I'd surveying the area. Down my life I was running low on sites to investigate. The apocalypse seems to think that these new locations are a sure thing. All right. I'll make sure we send someone out to check on them as soon as possible. Oh man, if I'm late for muster one more time, Captain. Paladin Dance is waiting for you inside, recruit. That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the local. Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're gonna need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. I wish everyone down there believed in our cause, but they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. We're on final approach to the airport. The Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. Time to talk? Great. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. 
And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridley and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Captain Kells? So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Then what's a soldier supposed to look like? A soldier is supposed to be an efficient killing machine. Not a relic from the past playing catch up with the rest of the world. If Dance hadn't stepped in and vouched for you, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Accepting outsiders like yourself has proven disastrous in the past. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? What exactly is your mission here? I'm not at liberty to say. Elder Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly, and I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now, was there anything else, or was everything I said understood? Not even a hint? Come on, I deserve it. Look, all I can tell you is that we're here directly in response to the data that Dance's recon team provided us. Beyond that, you'll just have to wait until Elder Maxon addresses the crew. Now dispense with the questions. It's time to get to work. Understood? That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? Yeah. Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak with you. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose. And our beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute's scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being this notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their synths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Joining our cause was the wisest decision of your life, sister. Charging into a situation guns blazing is a good way to get yourself killed. 
Elder Maxson? I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war. By starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. <laughs> a knight? What is this? The Dark Ages? Judging from the state of the world, it wouldn't be a stretch to say we're living in that era again. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on. So how did it look out well, there? Dance. Wondered when I'd see you again. How did it go? Well, come back Max. when you've got the time. Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. Why are you so confident in his abilities? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxon sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. But when Maxon took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. So, what's all this about you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. He believes in order to keep the Brotherhood strong, we have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Because we've got a lot of work ahead of us, and I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Do you need to come with me now? It might help if I tagged along with you. On the other hand, you might want to make your first impression without a paladin standing over your shoulder. It's up to you. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Well now, wondered when I'd see you again. Just waiting for you to pull a gun on me again? Spice things up? No, no. I think we're well past that. Now listen, I didn't have a chance to thank you properly before. I'm not sure I still have a place here. I've been away for too long. Maybe I'm not cut out for the Brotherhood anymore. But I'll give it time. I owe it to you and to my team. Thank you for giving me another chance. We should stock up on supplies before we begin our next mission. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? As long as it doesn't involve petroleum jelly and rubber gloves, I'm ready. No, no. This isn't that sort of examination. 
I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Uh, my father said I used to sit way too close to the TV. The television? Wait a second. Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Have you had problems with the crew catching diseases? Well, yes, actually. It's not unusual for our recon teams to stumble across contaminated environments or disease-carrying creatures. We don't want a single crewman infecting the entire ship. Anyway, uh, this exam is about you, so... Have you had or come in contact with anyone carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Well, there was this one really ugly guy in college. I mean, I had to get drunk and <laughs> it was a dare. I... That hardly qualifies, so I'll just put no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? That's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly isn't Brotherhood material. So what about you? Would you have a problem with it? I suppose so. Good enough. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Medical report, Knight Captain Cade reporting. I've been working closely with Scribe Naraya, examining some of the synth bodies that our recon teams have recovered. Even though we have yet to recover the synths that appear completely human, these lesser models are still astoundingly advanced. What's becoming apparent is that the Institute is the most technologically gifted enemy we've ever encountered, and therefore exceedingly dangerous. I've turned over all of my data to Lancer Captain Kells, along with my recommendations Something for developing for effective soldier? countermeasures for these synths. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how much it will help, given the fact that the real enemy are the synths that could be hiding among us. I need some supplies, Doctor. Scribes have been stocking us up. Help yourself. Can I help you today? Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What? Not even a thank you? I hardly need to... Oh my. It appears I've mistaken you for someone else. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Should I come back when you're less busy? Our recent arrival in the Commonwealth has left me with an immense amount of data to compile. 
None of that's your fault, really. You're obviously here for a reason. What was it again? Eh, just learning my way around the Predwin. Learning your way around? Ah, I see. You're the new recruit that Paladin Dance described in his report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapons schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. What exactly is a research patrol? Simply put, we send a small two-man team to scout a location and evaluate its technical and historical relevance. Saves us from sending an entire retrieval team to a worthless location. Maybe I could lend a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. About these there, try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report to Proctor. Ago. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. You're the one who decided uh, to not what I was expecting. <laughs> what were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Thanks, Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. While you're at it, my car's making this weird grinding noise when I back it out of the driveway. <laughs> you're gonna have to take a number. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. You feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? Most people in your condition would have given up. Can I hear your story? Sure. What the hell? I was fighting with the Brotherhood in the Capital Wasteland. Worked at a staging area for the Power Armor troops. Our position was along a ridge line overlooking the battlefield. I'd say it was a hundred foot drop, give or take. You weren't aboard the Pridwin? Uh, the Pridwin wasn't under Maxon's command at the time. It wasn't even in the Capital Wasteland. If she'd had been there, the 
battle wouldn't have been such a challenge. To make a long story short, the ridge I was standing on took a hit from a nuke, sheared most of the cliff right off, and caused the platform I was standing on to tumble over the side. If I hadn't been test piloting one of the power armor suits at the time, I would have died. Your power armor helped you survive the fall? Yeah, it took the brunt of the impact. But I don't know if I'd call it surviving. The suit was trashed after it landed, and I lost both of my legs. Haven't walked since. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Yes. You're pretty handy with that terminal. Halen would be impressed. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. So if I'm out of caps, I guess I'll just defeat the enemy with my bare hands. There's plenty of spare ammo and equipment all over the ship. You can help yourself to anything you can find. Everything in here is a bit more specialized and unique. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. As long as I don't end up in the brig. Don't worry. Last thing I'd want to do is get our newest recruit in trouble. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and... interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. Unless you'd like Dr. Shot, Tegan, never what brings you, you to me gun. today. I'm looking for some firepower. Got some choice weapons that just came in. Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Make sure you gear up before you head out. Sins are the worst. They hide in plain sight.
Proctor Teagan. Can I help you with anything? I'll take a look. Sure, I've got something that'll put a smile on your face. Our vertebrates should give us the air superiority we need to win this war. Cade won't clear me for duty. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Brigman's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, sister? What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong, and it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Super mutants? I thought the enemy was the Institute. Super mutants are no better than scents. They're a reminder of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. Whether it's using biochemistry to manipulate genes, or trying to create life from a bunch of circuits. It's the wrong path for science. As members of the Brotherhood, it's our sworn duty to exterminate these abominations in every form. So, can I count on you to get the job done? What do these shells do? The Fat Man Launcher is an essential part of the Brotherhood arsenal. It's a miniature nuclear payload in a man-portable format. A squad of troops armed with one of these is virtually unstoppable. If you ever have the pleasure of firing one of them, allow me to give you a word of advice. Don't fire one of them in close quarters. There won't be enough of you to bury in a shoebox. Is that enough to go on? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Good with more.
Target acquired. I'll try and keep him in your sights. Must be something significant in this area to merit these words.
larger step. There's quite a bit of debris here. Keep your safety. Up. Whatever created this mess might still be around. Here, human, human. that the army just unloaded the first batch of the uh, 42s I've only seen the specs for these little beauties on paper, so Private Bertram and I snuck down to take an early look. When I heard that the eggheads were designing a manned portable nuke launcher, I thought they were nuts. But they actually got the damn thing to work. And after seeing the real thing sitting right in front of me, I think they could be just enough to tip the balance of this war in our favor. Just a bunch of junk. I mean, can you imagine the look on the enemy's face when we get dropped into Anchorage carrying these babies? They won't know what hit them. seems to be in disarray. I wonder if this is recent. Game over! Ah! This is the part of the job where I go. something? Switching out your gear? Judging from the amount of... Got it. It's safe to assume we're the first people to investigate. Hell yeah.
remain vigilant. This place may appear abandoned, but that doesn't mean we should drop our guard. There isn't much left to properly identify these remains. We should search this area carefully for any technical documentation or pre-war artifacts.
look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a Brotherhood Knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. How could synths bring about our destruction? If the synths reached the point where they outnumbered mankind, how long would it take for them to decide we were no longer necessary? They certainly possess the capability to make more of their own kind, so we'd become expendable. And with Institute technology on their side, nothing could stop them, not even the Brotherhood. It's a nightmare scenario almost too terrible to contemplate. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Excuse me. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? I just want to trade a few things. Very well. Help yourself. Back to the Pridwin. I'll you should head back to the Pridwin. I'll take care of the shells. And Taking on a death claw without backup is a great way to get yourself killed. 
Glad to see you've returned safely from the Institute, sister. Heard you got a new assignment. Yeah, research patrol. Can you believe Sensor? <laughs> Elder Maxon? Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was a piece of cake. I'm glad you feel that way. Because it only gets more difficult from here. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. Will the vertebrate stay and help me fight? I'm afraid I can't spare a fully armed gunship for this task. A standard transport will have to suffice. Of course. Nothing stopping you from using the door gun while in flight. The best weapon for survival out here is a pocket full of caps. Signal grenades are usually reserved for our paladins. In your case, you should be grateful that I'm making an exception. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute and liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I'm quite disappointed you chose to build the signal interceptor without the Brotherhood Knight. However, you've secured passage to and from their facility, which was one of our primary goals. So, I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment, since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans. I now have two missions for you to complete. First and foremost, I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram right away. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape, so we can't afford to take any chances. The second part of your mission requires a bit of... background to explain. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. Is there a point to all this? Just giving you the proper background, soldier. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck, Knight.
lucky to have her in our arsenal. Attention, this is a reminder. All recovered technology must be presented immediately it to Proctor like Quinlan for evaluation. For wiping out those monsters at Fort Strong. Anyone found no. in possession of undocumented technologies will be subject to inquiry and punishment. You in aiding a research patrol. I found some technical documents for you. These will prove interesting. I'll file them immediately. Here are the caps that I promised. Remember. The Commonwealth is an almost unlimited source for these technical documents. Check every building you explore during your patrols very carefully, and you might be pleasantly surprised at what you find. Welcome back. I heard about the operation at Fort Strong. Any injuries that require attending to? Actually, I need some supplies for my next stop. No problem, soldier. Take a look. Lancer Captain Kells is one of the finest officers I've ever had the pleasure of serving under. With your reconnoiter of the Institute complete. Excuse me, Proctor Teagan. Well, the Brotherhood's got a lifetime supply of nuclear ordnance thanks to you. I expect you could use a resupply after a scrap like that. Let's hear a bit more about that extra work you mentioned. Hard to resist the lure of extra caps. The food stores don't replenish themselves, so I need legs on the ground to hit up farms in the area. We'll be requisitioning a portion of their harvest, and I need that food crated and ready to go for when I send out a collection team. Your mission will be to ensure full cooperation of the civilian farmers, by any means necessary. Any means necessary? You're giving me carte blanche on this? You said it. Like they say, if you aren't with us, you're this. Think you can handle that? I'm in. Knew I could count on you. Here's the farm. 
I've no doubt you'll convince those simple little civilians. Tegan. That farm's nothing you can't handle. Let me see what you have. All of my weapons are mission ready. Scientists talk you into doing something stupid. The Institute is a fool's paradise. We'll stop the Institute from maximum. You're an inspiration to us all, Knight. Do us proud. From what I hear, that rogue who sent them.
stick to the roads. You got a better chance of surviving. Brotherhood needs food. Better to donate it willingly and keep them friendly. Donate? I haven't heard that one before. But raiders usually aren't that polite. Don't think I don't see what's going on here. You'll get your donation come harvest. should be loaded and ready to fire. Good shooting, ma'am.
I'm bringing her in. Hang on to something. Attention. Tomorrow's tactical briefing has been postponed. A new time and date will be forthcoming. I like this rust bucket. I just leave that field I'll let Maxon's age fool you. Proctor. Ah, oh, my legs and on the ground. You'll get those farmers to cooperate? Yes, sir. The crops will be available when harvested. Could have done a better job myself. Here are those caps I promised you. Let me know when you feel like paying another farm a visit. If these farmers realize what we did for them on a daily basis, they'd be lining up to help. Eh, forget it. Fine by me? I can't believe super mutants were human once. How could science have gone so wrong? You know those synths with the plastic faces? They creep me the heck out. Don't worry. You'll get used to sleeping comfortably underneath massive containers of highly flammable gas. Hopefully the next recovery team will bring back some decent supplies. Been having to get real creative lately. I used to be a field scribe. Death call snapping my femur like a twig to put it into that. Don't despair, sister. We're here to save the Commonwealth. The Institute and the technological abominations need to be stopped at any cost. You haven't lived until you've tipped a Brahmin with a vertebrae. Now that's a challenge. Hey there. Welcome aboard, sister. Excuse me, Proctor Teagan. You looking to pick a fight? I'll help you end it. Let me see what you have. Be my guest. Elder Maxon ordered me to follow him to the gates of the alley. When I get off duty, that Salisbury steak is...
You watch your step. Got my eye on you. Too many miles on the road. Easy living, this ain't. Oh, you hear about the farm run by ghouls? Isn't that something? Let's see what you have. Here you are. You look like you could use a drink. Dugout Inn's got some cold ones. 